everybody, and welcome to the first annual Orioles Cook-Off. And uh, I want to introduce to you the, the main cookers here. And, uh, now these three Orioles uh, will have 30 minutes to make their dish. The judges will evaluate the contestants with taste, presentation, and creativity. And how about this? The end result is the winner, the meal will be placed on the ESPN Zone's menu. Oh my gosh, that's great. Can you do the Orioles cheer? <laughs> oh, love it. <laughs> what are you making today? Chicken enchiladas. Who was the one that taught you how to cook it? I taught myself how to cook it. Those skills come in handy. Yes, yes, especially when you spent your whole career east of the Mississippi where they don't have any good Mexican food. So true. I was in California for a while. We do not have good Mexican food in Baltimore. Yeah. It's very unfortunate. It is, especially and since it's a staple in my diet when I was growing up. Me too. I used to love those burritos from San Diego. Oh my gosh, can you not get any better than this? Chipotle is about the closest thing you get here, but it's not, it's not great. Well, first off, man who's been the, uh, really the number one starter for the Orioles for the past uh, three seasons. Uh, the Orioles were lucky they were able to claim him waivers from the Cleveland Indians a couple of years ago. Jeremy Guthrie. Here with Jeremy's wife and children. They're here to root him on. <laughs> what words of encouragement can you say? Oh, words of encouragement. He's a pro at this. He cooks all off-season this dish with a couple of other friends who have been to Spain numerous times as well. So this is something that he thoroughly enjoys. What's some of your, what, what are some of his favorite dishes? Well, he's cooking the Spanish tortilla. It's kind of a potato and egg souffle. Um, he loves all the meats from Spain. I would say if he could choose to eat anything, it would be Spanish authentic dishes. Now, he lived in Spain for a while, didn't he? Were you he did. He was there for two years. We've been back, I think, three times since he got home in um, 2000. But he, he, just, he loves it. Any, anywhere he goes, he, he really tries to get the full gamut of the experience. So. Tell me, is he the one that does the dishes or the cooking at home? Dishes. And he's really good, actually. He's he's a very clean person, so I don't even even have to ask. He just he's a good dishwasher, that's for sure. Next up, the man who's been the Orioles' leadoff hitter for probably I guess six years now, and will be around for a lot more years. In fact, four more beyond this for sure. The Orioles' second baseman, Brian Roberts. We like to eat at home. Um, the one thing, if I was to open a restaurant, I'd probably do a breakfast place, something to serve breakfast all day. We love breakfast. And uh, we sample Blue Moon pretty much every day of the week, Blue Mink. The next man, he's been here since I think 8 o'clock this morning preparing for this, <laughs> what I've been told. Very competitive about this. Uh, the Orioles catch your Greg's on. <laughs> Z-Man. That's me. I thought so. <laughs> You're the one that has the career in sports broadcasting, I hear. Uh, I think so. Been doing it for like three years. How, how's it going with the Orioles this year, just between you and I? How is it between you and I if you're recording it? What was it like growing up as the nephew of Rick Dempsey, one of the all-time Baltimore Oriole favorites? It's fun. I didn't. I never really thought about it. I was so, you know, removed from it in Baltimore or living out in California. So I, I always thought, thought it was a, a nice thing. Glendale, was it? Yeah. I was in Glendale though. They have this great outdoor mall with a chandelier hanging overhead. Yeah. <laughs> that was the last time you were there. Yeah, it's, I haven't been shopping there in well over a decade. You have to get back. Well, I go back. I just don't go shopping. I spend time with my folks. Don't blame you. Yeah. Well, we're rooting for you. Thank you. Good Thank luck you in the competition. Much. Thank you. Young man, who would like to ask a question? Jeremy, what's your favorite pitch? Um, probably my fastball. Um, I really enjoy throwing the change up as well, but uh, ultimately if the fastball is, is moving and it's down and it's located, um, that would give me the greatest success and make baseball more fun for me. I want to ask Rob a question, who has been the food critic for the Suns since I can remember many, many years. Yeah, tell, tell us a little bit about what you look for in, in dishes when you, you go to critique. Well, I mean, you look for full flavor, um, and it looks like I'm going to be getting a lot of that. Uh, and you also look for clean flavors. You don't want things that get in the way of each other. Um, sometimes uh, cooks can use so many different ingredients, it's like uh, a guy that uses too much aftershave or a woman who uses too much perfume. You, for, you lose uh, sight of what, what you're after there. 
I wanted to ask all three of you in regards to what's your favorite, say, like treat. In other words, if you had to say, you know, you like a certain dessert that you treat yourself maybe once a week to, or you, you gotta have. What would it be, Greg Zahn, first? If it's a dessert, peach cobbler. Oh yeah. And you make that? Uh, no, I don't. I don't bake. I don't do pastries. Okay. Although, I, but I love cakes and pies. Ryan, how about you? Anything chocolate. <laughs> um, chocolate. Lava cake, it really doesn't matter. Any more of the ESPN zone, hot cookie and ice cream. Ooh, oh, yeah. Yes. Um, pretty much anything like that. Now, the, the, the Jeremy, how about your favorite treat? What is your favorite treat? Favorite, favorite treat? sweet treat, in other words. Like, if you treat yourself once a week to a dessert, it's a little bit of a I'm not a treat, guys. Give me a piece of pizza and some spicy nacho Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I prefer. Uh, I don't know. What's my favorite treat? I can name my not favorite treats. <laughs> Wait, jar. Ones that make pans really hard to wash, so I gotta do the dishes. <laughs> now, how about uh, as players? Do you ever say like in between innings, run in a clubhouse or something, grab a candy bar or anything like that while you're while you're in the game? Our kid against last night about the fifth inning told me the Snickers he was eating was really good. No lie. Yeah, say a little bit about it. Your mic was on. Uh, I said Nick Marquez last night about the fifth inning told me he was eating a Snickers as I like was speaking. So, apparently we do. <laughs> Most people don't eat Snickers, though. But it makes a little difference, so. Yeah, that's a question. This is my son. He's a 12-year-old. He's just an all-star from DCYL. He plays for his top second place. Now, he hardly eats anything other than chicken nuggets. So what I would like to know is, how old were you guys when you started trying different things? And what advice can you give me to ensure that this young man has a broader palate to eat? I started trying different foods when I was pretty much as young as I was able to sit up in a chair and my parents just basically told me, you either eat it or you go hungry. And that would be my advice to you. Put it in front of him and tell him to eat it or he goes hungry. I'd say do the airplane. Sorry, it's tough. <laughs> Lee's going to explain how the, 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 the numbers went. The, not, uh, not, in other words, how, they, what the, how the numbers were, were, were associated with each thing. Each of our judges voted on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best. And they voted in three categories, uh, taste, presentation, and creativity. So there was a maximum score of 30 points for each chef from each judge. And it came down to a very close score. As we said, the winner's menu item will appear on ESPN Zone's menu. The winner will also get this lovely plaque identifying him as the ESPN Zone's Baltimore Orioles cook-off champion. Oh, nice orange black spatula. <laughs> you go down the Orioles here. In third place, with 159 points, Brian Roberts. Yeah. With 168 points, Greg Zahn. He was preparing for a month for this, folks. <laughs> the great song with the bird. I'm Terry Boom. Extremely proud of this moment. <laughs> Especially now that Weedy's here, this is probably the only black guy's going to get on here. So. <laughs> Cilantro lime fish tacos.